Right. Is your copy? Thank you. Is those in the bag for you? Uh, no, that's right. I'll just grab it. Thank you so much. Have a good one. You too. This is exactly what I needed and I'm so glad that I finally got it. Okay, so I feel like there are a few things that make a photographer successful and of course everyone has their preference, but when you're thinking of a good photographer and someone that knows what they're doing and really loves what they're doing, you think of a few things that they use. Because if a photographer showed up to my house to take pictures and they had their iPhone as their camera, I'd be like, what are you doing? Like, that's ridiculous. Get out of my house. There are a few pieces of equipment that photographers really take seriously. When a photographer goes to buy a cleaning cloth, they don't really care what brand it is. As long as it cleans their lens and it cleans their camera and takes care of the job, then that's fine. But when you think of like a good photographer and when they think of their equipment that they rely on for their actual job, their sole purpose of making a living and getting their money, you think of your camera, your lens, your tripod, and then maybe like your bag or case, whatever you put your equipment in, because of course you're gonna spend thousands and thousands of dollars on equipment. You don't wanna throw it in like a knapsack and you know take it around with you. One of the few things that a photographer always has is a tripod. And I've bought tripods before that are really cheap and crummy and they break on me and they snap because they're poorly made and they're plastic and I'm so sick and tired of it. So instead of going and buying a bunch of cheap tripods, I'm just gonna spend money and buy an actual good tripod for once. And it's really tough because there are so many different tripods out there. There's different brands, there's different types of tripods depending on what you want to shoot with them. So for a while I've been going back and forth on what tripod I should buy because I don't want to buy the wrong one and be unhappy with it because if I'm going to spend that much money on it then I want to make sure I'm getting a good one that I can actually use a lot. And I've talked to some people and I've looked it up online, I've read articles, I've read reviews, and I finally went with the brand Me Photo because a lot of people use it and a lot of people are happy. So I kind of had an idea of what kind of tripod I wanted when I went into Unique Photo but I just wanted to talk to the one guy there because he's normally really good with helping me out with decisions because I'm very indecisive when it comes to buying things and he talked me into the one that I originally wanted to get when I went into Unique Photo so I was really happy about that and he was really honest with me a lot of places you go into and they just try to sell you the most expensive product so their store can get money and they can get commission or whatever but this guy is like totally honest and if what I need is not the most expensive uh, tripod with all the bells and whistles, then he steers me away from that and he says, no, you don't need that. Get the cheaper one because it's gonna suit you more, which I really, really appreciate and that guy is always there and he's always so nice and helps me out and I'm really excited to go test this out because I haven't had like a good sturdy tripod to use. So I think I'm gonna go shoot some time lapses later if, you know, more clouds come out and it's a good, day for taking time lapses but I'm so excited that I finally got a tripod and it's over and done with and I can just focus on shooting things now because I had such the tripod I was just using recently was so crappy I use this little Joby tripod because it's perfect to take out somewhere and I can bend it around stuff if I want to like hook it to something but it's not very tall obviously because I'm not going to be carrying a giant like five foot tripod everywhere with me but if I need something a little taller or a little more stable then I really don't have anything and I was using a really old tripod that I had found in my basement and it actually like broke so and it didn't even have a ball head on it like it was such a bad bad tripod and I'd rather not rely on a crappy tripod when I have like a really expensive camera on it. So now it's over and done with. I bought the tripod and now I'm gonna go home and set it up. Um, actually, I think my mom, sister, and Madigan are at my house right now and my sister grabbed food. So I'm gonna go home and eat quick and then I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do later. Maybe I'll go to Starbucks and work a little more. Maybe I'll go run some more errands. Um, I'm not really sure, but I'm so excited I got a tripod. So yeah, today is a good day so far. <laughs> Okay, fast forward.
forward to a couple hours later. It's a little darker now and it's actually starting to rain. The sky wasn't very good today to take time lapses. There were like no clouds and again like you can't really take a time lapse of the sky without clouds because you can't see anything changing unless you're doing like an all day time lapse where then of course you could do like the sun rising and setting. But I'm actually on my way now to Maria's house. We're gonna eat dinner and then I think we're gonna go to Target to get a couple things. I'm not really sure. I've been on my computer and I was fidgeting with my tripod just figuring out how it works. It's actually really neat and I'm really happy and I'm excited to get out and use it. But yeah, I just wanted to give a quick little update and it's kind of dark out so I'm, I apologize. You can't really see me that well. Are you recording? No. <gasps> I just got glitter all over my face, didn't I? Actually, no. Santa's calling, but the phone dropped. on Christmas decorations. I don't know how to walk. Ha <laughs> ha Come look. I'm really gonna, I hate glitter. So what your gifts are gonna be wrapped in? I hate glitter. So I've been playing around with this tripod and it's really neat and it's got a lot of cool features like one of the legs unscrews and it actually turns into a monopod which is cool to use if I ever need one. I'm also excited because I used to use this little Joby tripod on my desk at the end of the night just to film like the little outros for these vlogs but now I can start moving the tripod around and having it face different angles. I've tried this before with my old tripod, but I feel like it just was never as good. But now I can film at different angles and different places because I don't have to worry about just having that small tripod and being so limited. It may not be a big deal for you guys because you can't really notice, but it's a big deal to me because I've been trying to pick out a good tripod for like so long now and it's really hard because there are so many options and of course you always want to get the best. And I finally got one that I really do like and I haven't even like gotten outside or taken it anywhere to actually use it. But right now using it at my house today and in my room I can already see like a huge improvement from my old tripod. It's really hard to find a tripod that's both sturdy and lightweight and portable and I think this tripod is the best because it has all of those built in. It's really sturdy for shooting like time lapses or long exposures so you don't have to worry about the camera shaking and messing up the shot or the video but it's also really small it can convert down to the same size let me show you this is the Joby that I use every single day. I take it with me everywhere when I vlog. This is the box that the Mi Photo tripod came in and it says that this is life size. So if you were to compare these two tripods, they're basically the same exact size. Which is actually kind of crazy when you think about it because if it's as small as my Joby tripod when it's folded up, it's actually pretty tall when it's fully extended. I mean, I'm 5'11 and this is a pretty good height even though it's not even fully extended. So I'll be able to take this with me and shoe anything that I possibly need to. So yeah, this is a pretty cool tripod and I can't wait to use it every day. Well, don't forget to like and comment on this video and subscribe if you haven't already. That's pretty much it for today, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm also thinking of doing a room tour because so many people comment on my room and all of the stuff that I have in my room and on my walls and on my ceiling. So maybe one day when I didn't really shoot a vlog and I'm kind of panicking, maybe I'll just do a quick room tour to show you some of the stuff that I have because this is a small room and I have a lot of stuff packed in here.